All right, we are back in the kitchen with Papa and a word to the wise. All right, the last two times we have been talking about discipline. And we said it's four things that concern with discipline. Number one was discipline should be consistent. Number two was discipline should be positive. Number three is discipline should be individualized. Individual. All your children are individuals. They have uh, a sense of individuality. I, I raised three children, two girls and one boy, and the discipline was individualized. Everybody didn't get in trouble for the same thing. And I didn't uh, bring up something they had done last week when I was disciplining them this week. Each situation stood on its own merit. Each situation. I discipline you for what you did now. I didn't go back to my, I'm going to get you for old and new. You know how the old folks said? I'm going to get you for old and new. Are you kidding me? That's the problem with folks now. They go going back to the past trying to do something. Well, you going to do something. Listen, parents are not always right. But discipline should be individualized. Each child should. Don't say, if you don't tell me who did it, I'm going to get all y'all. No, if you don't know who did it, you find out and discipline one. Don't discipline everybody for something one person did. That's not right. Discipline should be individualized and uh, it should be positive and it should be consistent. That's it today. Let me put that down. In the kitchen with Papa. And a word to the wise. And next week, we're going to be talking about number four on our chart on how to apply.